like that bitch yeah <laughs> valentine's day weekend i'm in this bitch chilling man i'm up i thought i was gonna be feeling like shit this morning i drunk so much last night i thought my liver was gonna be dead on the nigga ass this morning but a nigga woke up like a champ man i'm a little dehydrated you know what i mean <laughs> nigga sweating and shit like oh fuck nigga woke up got so much water in him you know what I'm saying? But uh I just came through to fill y'all in on some some shit that's been on my mind, a few little fucked up ins I ain't gonna say fucked up, but it's definitely some fuck shit that then then it came my way. Hold on, let me cut this. Cut that off, yeah. You know I mean, hold on, bitch. Uh, yeah. But uh yeah, man, just some fuck shit around my way. Let y'all in on some fuck shit. Uh I don't know if y'all remember the episode when i was filling y'all in on the uh the chick baby daddy who called my phone talking about he was a player he got seven baby mamas he a player ass nigga man this nigga didn't resurfaced again bruh this nigga didn't popped up for some way somehow this nigga didn't ended up on my motherfucking phone again and now i'm mad at the bitch yeah, we're going to get into that. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, grown men want other grown men to talk to them like they they motherfucking uh, uh, mama or something. Like, like, like you want other grown men to talk to you uh, like, like, like this nigga your bitch or something. You know what I'm saying? You want this grown ass man to cater to your grown ass man feelings. You know what I mean? Nigga, that's lame as fuck. Good coffee. Nigga, that's lame as fuck, nigga. You out here looking like a scrape motherfucking bitch. Matter of fact, we gonna start right there. I got some other shit I wanna talk about, but uh, we gonna start right here, man. What's wrong with, like, like, I posted this on Facebook. And see, women like to talk about their power and all this shit. Y'all, I wanna know if y'all gonna take props for this, right? I remember back in middle school, I think, I think I talked about this before, but I remember back in middle school, the first time nigga came to school with a pink motherfucking shirt on. I always bring this up. Cause everything these niggas doing is cause of the bitches. Just like everything these bitches doing is cause of the niggas. Yeah, it go both ways. But yeah, I remember when a nigga came to school with that pink shirt on, nigga. All it took was for a bitch to say it was, one bitch to say it was cute. The next time, it was five niggas in pink shirts. Next time, it's 30 niggas in pink shirts. Next time, it's 30 niggas in pink shirts. 15 of them got on skinny jeans. The bitch didn't let the nigga put on her jeans. They didn't woke up in the morning for school. Hey, baby, how I look in these? Nigga, you look all right in them. Now, now niggas wearing skinny jeans. Yeah, if bitches came out and said they don't want niggas doing none of this motherfucking shit that they doing, and they came out in numbers and said, look, if you niggas on this for now, man, we ain't fucking with y'all. Watch how many niggas stop doing that shit. And I'm talking about overnight. When you see a fat nigga with a little ass motherfucking t-shirt on and the bottom of his belly hanging out and he got on the motherfucking skinny jeans and the crack of his ass hanging out and you know goddamn well this fat ass nigga not comfortable in these little ass motherfucking clothes. He trying to get a bitch. <laughs> he hoping the bitch say he cute. <laughs> yeah, so I need ladies to take... um responsibility for what's going on right now y'all told these niggas this was cute yeah not handsome you ain't tell the nigga he was a stud you so you told that nigga he was cute and that's how he acting he acting real motherfucking cute so now these niggas expect for other grown ass men alpha males you know what i'm talking about to talk to them like they cute yeah you want me to talk to you like you a nine month old baby Oh, goo goo ga ga. You want a nigga to goo. Man, listen, I'm tired of having conversations with you niggas and 
a nigga get to saying some real shit and talking to your ass on some man shit and the first thing man bro what's up bro i thought we was <laughs> yeah i thought we was good bro what's up nigga we is good nigga you just don't like what i'm saying right now yeah you ain't expect me to lay it down on your motherfucking ass like that for all you niggas that be talking about pause, y'all do that lame ass shit. Yo, nigga came through and laid it down on your motherfucking ass. You ain't expect that smack down, nigga. And now your motherfucking ass sitting there wondering, oh man, do a nigga really fuck with me? But let me tell you something. All them people that's telling you what you want to hear instead of what you need to hear, they don't fuck with you. They're the ones that don't fuck with you. Yeah, so like, shit, when I be having conversations with niggas and I be keeping it real and I be dropping that motherfucking game on they motherfucking ass, even if they don't want a motherfucking head, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you you go three weeks, a month, two months without hearing from a nigga. And they the ones sitting there, man, I thought we was good, nigga, we is good. We chopping it up, we having a grown man conversation, you don't like what I said, I ain't talked to your ass in six months. But guess what? It don't fucking matter. Don't, don't, don't make me no motherfucking difference. Because you called the plug, yeah, you called the plug. Nine times out of ten, you called me, you needed something from me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, that right there kind of going to roll me into the next thing I want to talk about. Listen, the plug don't wait on nobody. The plug don't wait on nobody but the cartel, you feel me? He, don't, he ain't waiting on nobody but that goddamn Mexican. He ain't waiting on nobody but Jesus in that little motherfucking Ford F-150 dropping off them things. <laughs> That's the only motherfucker he waiting on. What I mean by that. This what I mean by that. Check this out. And I'm going to use an artist. I'm going to use artists as an example. You know what I'm talking about? Because that's the lane that I'm in. That's what I do. I distribute artists and shit. I, I do record and I do all that shit. If you, the, everything that these record labels do for artists to roll them out and release their motherfucking music, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? On the independent level. You know what I'm saying? I pay numerous artists every month. You know what I'm saying? And But but I'm going to compare what I was just talking about. I, I, I said compare. I'm all over the place. Mind y'all, I'm still kind of drunk last night shit. But uh, yeah, the plug don't wait on nobody but the nigga that's coming through dropping them bricks out. I'm going to compare that to the music shit, right? So look, if you an artist, you ain't got no studio. All you, all you able to bring to the table is some rapping. You call me for the beat. You call me to record. You need me for mixing and mastering. You need me for the graphics. You need me to press that shit up. You need me to put that shit out. You need me to get the money from all these motherfucking stores where your music streaming it and all that shit. When you get purchases and all that shit, you need me to go get the money and make sure I pay you every month. Now, all you do is what a million other niggas around the world do, and that's rap. Nigga can always find a rapper. A nigga can't always find a one-stop shop, nigga. Man, I fuck with this one nigga, man. He do everything. I ain't got to outsource nothing. I'm fucking with this nigga right here. He got everything. Let me tell you something. Why the fuck should I ever wait on a nigga? And I ain't gonna, let's not even say me. Anybody that's in that position of the plug, why the fuck should they wait on you? Wait on you for what? Nigga, you holding up the line. Why shouldn't I go out here and find another nigga that rap? A young nigga that's hungry. All he want to do is rap and do this shit. Why shouldn't I go get that? Why should I wait on your motherfucking ass? You older than me anyway. Motherfucker might be, motherfucker might be motherfucking 40, 50 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, ain't nobody, nobody's going to wait on you. And this ain't no slur. This ain't no slur to nobody. This ain't no disrespect. This really some game. I come on here and get a game. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas be like, oh, T, man, I'm trying to do what you doing with the music and all that motherfucking shit, man. I woo do woo do woo and all that shit. Niggas talking like I got motherfucking magical powers. Nigga, I ain't doing nothing magical. I ain't doing nothing you can't do, bro. But the thing is, the certain opportunities that fell in my laps. See, a lot of motherfuckers think just because they get a chance to do something that it's an opportunity. No, 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 no. You might just be uh, wasting your time doing some fuck shit with a nigga that think he got a movement or something going on. Now, real opportunities put you in position moving forward. You know what I'm saying? It don't just stop right there. You know what I'm talking about? You sign that paperwork and you move forward with the business. A lot of opportunities that fell in my lap, I swear to God, y'all, some of them that just fell in my motherfucking lap. And the reason why is... I stayed available 
See, the plug is not going to wait on you. I'll never forget when I first started like selling beats or really I wasn't even selling, I really was giving them bitches away. I go to the studio, nigga, I probably got 200 beats on me. Nigga, if you got $20, if you got between $15, $25 in this bitch, you can get a beat. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why I was able to go through and snatch that money up real quick is I used to go through the studio, snatch that money up real quick. I'm out that bitch. Man, T, man, we about to smoke. We about to, I'm out this bitch. <laughs> but the reason why those, the, how that started is these niggas was fucking with a well-known producer in the city. I ain't gonna say no name. But they was fucking with a nigga that got a name. The nigga was, the nigga didn't stay available though. He was trying to make it seem like he was more important or more busy than what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? And and niggas picked up on that shit. Niggas pick up on when you're bullshitting, bro. That's that's later down in the show. We gonna talk about that too. A lot of y'all motherfuckers think, look here, bro. Been there, done it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, the nigga was, he, he didn't want to stay available. So when they call me, I'm pulling up, nigga. I got, shit, I got 50 bricks on this hard drive, nigga. <laughs> on this flat drive, nigga. I'm finna come through, drop off straight dope. If you got $200 in this bitch, you can get a beat, nigga. I just had them niggas lined up out the studio, nigga. Oh, hey, man, I want that one. Hey, 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 35, 45, 55. Yeah, I'm in that bitch, nigga, real shit. But that's only because I was available. Every time they called my phone, man, T, man, we need some beats, bro. Well, yeah, woo, 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 man, let's get it. Scoop up, you know what I'm talking about? Go, go through that motherfucker, get the business clear, get the prices right, drop them motherfuckers off. I'm back at the crib. Real shit. But what I'm saying is, y'all gotta stay available. Like folks be, and 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 when I say stay available, I feel like people be looking for excuses. A lot of motherfuckers be available. A lot of motherfuckers sometimes don't be doing shit. But the thing is, motherfuckers really don't be wanting to do shit. You know what I'm saying? I tried to, I was thinking about something a little bit more prettier than that. But at the end of the day, it boils down to motherfuckers really don't be wanting to do shit. Motherfuckers really don't be wanting to do it. And that's okay. See, that's another thing too, man. Y'all got to stop lying to yourself. It's okay if you don't really want to do this shit. I know y'all be watching social media and folks be making shit look easy. And y'all think y'all could just jump into the shit and, and, it's going to pop off tomorrow. You don't know it took 10 years for a nigga to get some money out this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's okay if you really don't want to do it. And even if you think you want to do it, once you get into it and you see, oh, shit, this what it take. Man, listen, if you if you know that shit ain't for you, man, get out that shit as fast as possible, nigga. Get your ass out of that shit. It ain't for you. You ain't finna do nothing but dig a hole, nigga, and bury yourself. Don't do that stupid ass shit. But back to what I was saying. Some people do be available. But it's like when they phone ring and that opportunity come, they really be lazy. They really don't be wanting to do this shit. They ain't got to drive for this shit. So they say stupid shit like, oh man, uh, tied up right now, man. Yeah, man, uh, I got to check in with my old lady. That's another story. No Valentine's Day this weekend. That's a whole nother motherfucking story right there. I keep telling y'all niggas when it comes to certain shit, what y'all doing out here, well, the lifestyle you're living, the dreams that you got, the dreams that you're chasing, bitches be a distraction, my nigga. You better learn how to get you some pussy and keep moving. You feel me? But uh, yeah, nigga, man, yeah, man, my bitch tripping or I got the kids or I, I'm doing this and doing that until da 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 And then the motherfuckers check back later. And they wonder why the plug ain't answering the phone. What the fuck he won't wait on you for? It's a thousand, it's a hundred million thousand motherfuckers out here doing the same thing you doing. And even if you talented, you could be talented as fuck. All I got to do is go find another motherfucker that's talented as fuck. Nigga might be up the street somewhere. I might run into this nigga at the dollar store, man. Getting some bleach or something, man. Oh, yeah, man, Mr. T, man. Yeah, I do. do, 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 do. Boom. Got one. Fuck I need to wait on you for. And nine times out of ten, nigga, you really just kicking me an excuse right now. You really don't want to fuck with this shit. See, I respect a motherfucker when they just say, man, I ain't fucking with it. I respect that shit so much, bro. Man, I just, man, I ain't, man, I just ain't fucking with it, bro. See, like, like, I don't, I don't waste people time, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't wait, I just don't waste people time, dog. I don't believe in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I ain't fucking with it, bro, I just ain't doing it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I retired from rap last year. 
You know what I'm saying? Somebody came to me, little money on the table. Man, I want to do this project with you. Woo, do, woo, do, woo, do, woo, do, woo. And at first, I was like, all right, you know, something about trying to scratch the money. You know what I'm talking about? Snatch that money off the table. But uh, just sitting in the studio, it's like, yo, I ain't feeling it, man. Like, nah, I ain't with it. I ain't finna waste this dude time. I ain't finna sit up here and play. You know what I'm talking about? Even if it is about some money, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I, I just miss out on that money, bro. I ain't feeling it. And I told that nigga straight up, like, man, nah. Shit, you know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers respect that. Niggas like, all right, man, bet, bet, bet. Motherfuckers respect that instead of that bullshit. Y'all be stringing people along and shit. Man, I'm trying to do this, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to woo the woo the woo. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to woo the woo the woo. And week after week after week, then it turned month into month after month after month. Next thing you know, years going by, and this motherfucker still saying they trying to do something. You eventually gotta look at the situation and be like, hey bro, you ain't trying to do shit. Use a motherfucking lie. You really trying to get on my goddamn nerves at this point. You really want me to talk to you crazy and you gonna get in your goddamn feelings and then next thing you know, you talking like you won't catch a fade. You really can't fight. I done beat your ass up and then you wanna go get a gun. Or you wanna call the police on me. Niggas do that shit too. I ain't gonna talk about that. You smack a nigga side. Nigga gonna try, nigga gonna try to steal on you. Fuck around and miss. You whoop his ass, he call laws on you. <laughs> yes, that has happened to me before. <laughs> yeah. But it all stems from, hey man, quit playing. Quit fucking playing, bro. Wasting people time, bro. That shit lame, bro. And then when a nigga call you out on it, you expect a nigga to talk to you like, like I'm your motherfucker, uh. Like, I'm your motherfucking caretaker at the daycare. You a fucking kid or something. Nah, nigga. Straight raw, uncut. See, I don't know how y'all was raised. I was raised a little different. My parents was raw as a motherfucker. My parents was raw. Like, real shit. I'll never forget years ago. I went a little stretch without talking to my dad. And I talked to this nigga. I talked to this. I ain't gonna say a lot. But I talked to the nigga frequently. You know what I'm saying? It might not be every day. It might be, you know, once or twice every quarter of the year you know what i'm saying but I, it, at one point i was out here in the streets and shit and i ain't talked to my dad in like two three years bro and it was bothering me you know what i'm saying because i be chopping it up with him so i finally talked to him after the time go by <laughs> and that nigga kept it so real man the nigga kept it so real he said yeah man i heard you was out here wilding and shit man you know uh I heard that they, they were saying you was strung out on dope and shit, which was a fucking lie. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, yeah, man, they say you was out here strung out on that dope, man. I don't want to fuck with no nigga like that. <laughs> Straight up. That's what my dad had told. And I was like, understandable. Tenfo. I get that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's just how I came up, bro. Nigga got to keep it straight up because all that bullshit and open the door and the windows to a bunch of other shit. But if you keep it real, nip this shit in the bud, man, nigga just ain't got no choice but to respect it or check it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I ain't going to go uh too much more into that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make it long. You feel me? I just want to get some shit off my chest. Uh, Let's go into the Valentine's Day shit. <laughs> nigga, I woke up this morning. I seen a nigga in Florida. He done stole ring, stole some rings and shit from one bitch, and took it to another bitch to propose to her. My God, respect the jokes. You gotta respect that jokes right there. Florida shit, nigga shit. I hope he fuck both them bitches this weekend. Real talk, savage. <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> Man, this Valentine's Day shit, bro. I text my, I text one of my partners. I think it was Wednesday. I text this nigga, man. I ain't heard back from this nigga since. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I hope this nigga ain't let his phone get cut off <laughs> so that he can partake <laughs> in Valentine's Day. Boy, that's some sucker shit. <laughs> and let me, t let me tell the young nigga something. Come on, homeboy older than me, I can't say nothing to him. But let me tell the young nigga something. You want to participate in Valentine's Day? Cool. That's cool. 
all these holidays. See, I don't celebrate none of these holidays. But if y'all want to celebrate these holidays with the bitch, that's cool. But I just let me give you a little game. That pussy might get wet for Valentine's Day. That's true. Pussy might get wet as a motherfucker when she see that bear and them roses and shit. Cause she a basic bitch. She re she probably really ain't never had nobody do nothing for her. Nigga probably ain't never bought the bitch a motherfucking uh, card out of Walmart. You know what I'm saying? So she see that teddy bear and them roses, that pussy get wet. You know what I'm talking about? She ready to get freaky with you. But let me tell you something. Depending on what type of bitch you got. If you take all that money that you spend on pagan holidays throughout the year. Save all that goddamn money and start a business with the bitch or invest into her business watch how wet that pussy gets <laughs> just a little free game yeah yeah just a little free game so you niggas don't be knowing how to control the situations with these bitches y'all be letting these bitches control y'all <laughs> i know a young nigga right now i used to buy weed from him but one day one day the nigga hit me up and he said hey man this here going for 15 a gram I say like, nigga what the fuck nigga this 2011 what the fuck is this nigga talking about nigga you got some shit I ain't seen before what the fuck is you talking 15 a gram right and like I said earlier if you pay attention a motherfucker know when a nigga especially a motherfucker that done been there and done that man listen bro nigga know when you bullshit man you full of shit you out here, you want me to think you doing it a certain way. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. I see what's really going on. So look. <sighs> I'm pausing because I, I want to go into this the right way. I don't want to be disrespectful. I'm just laughing at a nigga. But I met this bitch one time, right? And like, you can learn, you can tell everything you need to know about a nigga based on his bitch. You know what I'm saying? You can you can learn a lot of shit about a nigga if you study his bitch, even if it's just five minutes. Study the nigga bitch and you will see a type of the, the life that he really living. You see what I'm saying? So look, I met his bitch one time. <laughs> nigga, me, Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, uh, uh, any character in the movie that ain't got their fucking eyes plucked out can tell this a grimy bitch she might not look bro i say this all the time bro young niggas make sure she like you for real she might like what you doing for her instead of liking you for real she might not like your dick she might go in that room and moan and fake like you just tearing that pussy down but in all reality when you get up off of her she want what she want from you okay so like i said i met the nigga bitch and i said oh that's why he charging 15 to go. <laughs> yeah man listen y'all young niggas gotta understand bro we was young too yeah you ride around with the young tender you know what i mean you done let her see the pack you know what I mean? You got your gun. You probably got a little money on you. You know what I'm saying? The bitch bopped out. You know what I mean? I'm, this, this when you first meet the bitch. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't talking about when y'all get in a relationship and time go by. I'm talking about in the beginning. You meet the bitch. The bitch riding around with you. You know what I mean? The bitch was like, hey, uh, smoke some. You know what I mean? You pull the pack out. You know what I'm talking about? You sit it on the motherfucking, uh, you sit it in the middle between y'all and shit in the car. You say, hey, baby, just, hey, just roll your own, baby. You know what I mean? Get what you need out of that bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't do that. Don't ever going to the situation with a bitch having her thinking she can have her way bitch you cannot have your way over here but if you act right you might can get something you know what i mean but yeah i know this i ain't never did this shit but i done seen niggas do it that's why i'm laughing i done seen this shit before i've been laughing at niggas like this for years like nigga you ride around with the bitch you, let, you letting her put her hand in the pack. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't even busting shit down, giving her, you know what I'm talking about? You ain't even sit her three, five to the side or no shit like that. You letting her put her hand in the pound. Yeah, her whole hand in the pound. Know what I mean? And it get worse than that. This why I don't ever want to meet a bitch's family. 
Well, you don't know. <laughs> Every bitch say the same thing. You don't never want to go meet with my family or go to all family functions. No, bitch. You get on my nerves enough. You in a nigga pocket enough. What the fuck I want to go around your fucking people for? I bet they beggars too. The fuck? <laughs> But yeah, the young nigga riding around, the bitch like, yeah, the bitch all on the phone talking to her homegirls or sisters and shit. Yeah, girl, yeah, this nigga got it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, girl, yeah, we gonna come over there, yeah, this nigga, he got the pack. Yeah, we gonna come over there, we gonna smoke you out. Yeah, ain't that right, baby? Yo, bitch ass sitting over there in the pageant seat. Hell yeah, man, you know, nigga, nigga, keep that fire, you know what I'm talking about? This cake, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah whole time you setting your motherfucking self up to be extorted by the whole goddamn family yeah you get over there <laughs> her grandma checking you out you know because this is what she learned it from she learned it from her grandma she learned it from her mama you know what i'm talking about they just passed that shit down your stupid duck ass done went for it so so now you letting this bitch smoke your pack up ain't nobody helping you re-up you might have a little nine to five, but they smoking so much of your shit. And you want to keep the streets hot, so you got to dip into your, 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 your legal check. Dipping into your legal check might fuck up with your bills and shit. Hey man, listen, been there, done that, and you ain't getting over. I'm laughing at you. I'm just keeping it real, nigga, laughing at you. But yeah, the nigga fuck around, go to the bitch mama house. He get to the bitch mama house. It ain't no men in there. First red flag. It ain't no men. The granddad ain't there. The dad ain't there. Her lame ass, bust ass, bum ass brother there. But all, he, he, he might as well be one of them bitches. He might well split his dick in half. He might well be one of the bitches. That's why he over there with them. You go in the house. Hey, this the first, oh shit, excuse me. This the first time the motherfucking mama done met you. She already calling you son because the daughter done already put her up on game. Oh yeah, baby, we can, we can milk this nigga. <laughs> this nigga so happy to be getting some pussy. He don't even see what's going down. Get to the house. The mama got her hand in the pound. The grandmama smoke. The brother steal. <laughs> the brother steal it. He's stealing your money, he's stealing your weed, and the sister know. But happy Valentine's Day, dumbass nigga. <laughs> oh shit, happy Valentine's Day, dumbass nigga. Yeah, that's why these niggas come back, yeah. Yeah man, this right here, going for 15 a G. Yeah, my girl and her family didn't just ran through my shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this 15 a G, and uh, when I go re up, you know, we gonna just keep it at dimes because I can't, I can't get the half pound no more. I gotta get an ounce at a time now, you know, nigga. Money a little funny, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I don't know what happened, you know. It's just, <laughs> yeah, I know what happened, nigga. You get extorted by a little piece of pussy in our family, but you nigga swear that bitch fucking with you. Let me tell y'all something. If this bitch gotta be, if if this bitch gotta be with you all the time, if this bitch, this bitch ain't got nothing going, man, don't put that bitch in your business. Get you some pussy, bro. I ain't saying don't get that pussy. We fuck them too. Yeah, them nothing asshole that ain't got nothing going on. We fuck them too. Them the easiest ones to fuck. All you gotta do is show us some weed. Oh, don't have your own spot. Oh man, the bitch fuck you everywhere in the house. But yeah, man, let's get let, let's talk about the niggas crashing for the pussy. You dig? Let's talk about niggas crashing for the pussy. Before I speak on uh the bitch baby daddy, some shit happened in Shreveport, man. West Side City Grove over there on Henderson Street, man. I used to live over there. Well, off 84th. I ain't right around the corner, but you know what I'm saying? Bruh, I seen some wild shit in the news, man. You niggas is wildin', bro. Like, man, look, 
y'all, y'all, y'all young men, y'all men, y'all males, whatever the fuck. You might not be a man yet. Just because you got some dick and some balls don't mean you're a man. You might not be a man yet. You might be a male professing to get there. You know what I'm talking about? But listen, y'all need to quit crashing out about this pussy, bro. I'm just keeping it 1,000, bro. Y'all niggas is crashing, bro. Y'all out here looking bad about some pussy. That shit crazy. That shit is crazy, bro. Some shit happened in Shreveport, man. A nigga ain't been knowing this girl a month. They been fucking for a month. Probably not even a month. It's probably some three week old pussy. They been fucking with each other for about a month, bro. They get into an argument on the phone. I want to know what she said to him. I want to see them text messages. Because this nigga came to her house and shot her. Nigga. You mean to tell me you putting your whole motherfucking life on the line behind some pussy you been getting for about a month? Man, if they got a sex tape, let me see it. What is she doing? Fuck. So that nigga in there, he done shot the girl. The girl brother then came in there and put him out of his fucking misery. That's right. He's with Jesus now. Yeah, he is. Hallelujah. <laughs> for real <laughs> man listen bro y'all gotta chill bro like y'all gotta understand bro like <sighs> i ain't gonna say that because bitches gonna get mad man let me go talk about this lame ass nigga that didn't resurface to my motherfucking phone bro i couldn't believe this shit man so look let me take you back uh a couple weeks ago right and once again like i said in the beginning I ain't even upset at the nigga this time. I'm upset with this bitch. That's right. I'm upset with that bitch. That's right. That's why I got to take y'all two weeks back. Check it out. So two weeks ago, this bitch called me or whatever. This is my homegirl now. You know, we used to fuck around back in the gap, like probably seven, eight years ago. You know, but, you know, I, 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 I really fucked with Shawty. You know what I'm saying? She was cool or whatever, but she could never be my girlfriend. But, you know, we was friends and shit, and we kept being friends. So, uh, but she, let me tell y'all niggas something. These bitches is dirty, kid. They always, if you, if, if, if you, if you walk up to a bitch and you trying to get with her and you notice that she an attention-seeking asshole, don't fuck with her. Straight up, nigga. Don't fuck with her. If you know you fucking with a bitch that... She'll do anything for attention. You know what I'm talking about? Don't fuck with her. Because that's what type of bitch this is. You know what I'm saying? And I know she I know she listening. I know that nigga listening for sure. Because last time I talked about him, he mentioned it. That nigga inboxed me. So, uh, I know y'all listening. So, pay attention, motherfucker. Now, attention-seeking asshole. You feel me? So, two weeks ago, she out in Houston or whatever, kicking it with her family. They partying and all that. I'm talking to her through the little weekend or whatever. She trying to show me a pussy. She trying to, you know, you know, she, you know, some bitches just get round the pimping. Can't help it. You know, I know a lot of you niggas don't know nothing about that. But uh, some bitches just get round the pimping and they, they want my eyes to see they pussy. They want me to see they titties. They want me to know that they willing to get down with this pimping. But uh, I gracefully declined, uh, <laughs> you know, because I know what come with that. I done been there, done that, you know. No, nah, I'm good, baby. So the whole time, she trying to get a certain amount of attention from me to get over this nigga. That's what they do. They use attention and shit to try to get over the nigga. Well, bitch, all you got to do is just stop fucking with that nigga. Look, all you bitches out here, because she claim this nigga don't bring nothing valuable to her life but dick. Bitch, if you own your shit, you got your car, you got your crib, you taking care of your kid, you got your job, you getting your money. You know what I'm talking about? And not just no regular crib. You know what I'm talking about? You got furniture in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, baby. If you on top of your shit and you got a nigga ruining your motherfucking life every time this nigga come to your motherfucking house some get towed up some is fucked up y'all can't you know, y'all gotta fight and shit before y'all fuck the nigga just ruining your life 
You mean to tell me you won't let this nigga ruin your life Cause he got some good dick Bitch you dumb as a motherfucker Same thing for y'all niggas man Y'all motherfucking niggas Fresh out of high school man You grinding You putting yourself in a position to make a hundred thousand a year man You let a bitch ruin your whole motherfucking life She fuck all that shit up You lose your job You lose your car You lose your house You lose every motherfucking thing Behind a bitch That ain't proved nothing to you Before you even start giving her shit And that information to ruin your life <sighs> The bitch ain't proved nothing. And then the first thing you niggas say, the only the only excuse you niggas got, man, shorty bad in the motherfucker, man. That pussy was good in the motherfucker. Man, you ain't never seen a bad bitch before? You ain't never got no good pussy before? What you been doing out here, boy? You're 30 years old. You mean tell me that's the only good pussy you ever seen? That's the only bad bitch you ever had? Oh, my God. You need to take a time out from all this shit. You need to take a break. Go reevaluate yourself, sir. <laughs> Nigga, ain't no way. But yeah, back to the bitch. So uh, the bitch out on the weekend, all that shit, trying to show me a pussy, you know, talking about, talking about how she won't give me the pussy and all that. And I'm sitting there like, ah, okay. I'm not interested at all, really. You know what I mean? Like at one point, <laughs> The bitch was sitting in the car playing with herself, right? Trying to get me to have phone sex with her. I got off the phone. Like, no. Like, like, no. No. The pimping is not interested in that. That don't excite the pimping. At all. Yeah. I like a bitch to show up and put the paper in my hand. Yeah. I need the paper in my hand before you put the pussy yeah, 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 yeah. I need the paper in the left hand before you put that pussy in the right hand. Most definitely. In that order, bitch. Give a fuck what you saying over this phone? I don't feel that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, she going through her weekend having fun and shit. And I'm going into detail because I want this bitch ass nigga to hit. I'm going into detail, yeah. So, yeah, I'm seeing her pussy. Some shit I've already seen a hundred times. Yeah, you know I mean, so uh, yeah, so it comes to that Sunday. She getting ready to go back home. Yeah, you know I mean, so uh, we having a conversation. I'm like, uh, what shit? When you go back home, I ain't gonna hear from you anyway. She was like, what you mean? I say, she, you finna go home, go back to that lame ass nigga. She got mad. You know why she got mad? That bitch got on the defense. Wanna know why? Cause I hit that bitch in the gut. Low blow, bow. Yeah, she know I was telling the truth. What this dumbass bitch do? She went home, went back to this nigga. Now up until this bitch called me. I think this was Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. Up until this bitch hit me up. Now after that, after her little visit for her sister's birthday, they having fun. Up until this point right here, been two weeks, I ain't talked to this bitch. I ain't talked to her. And just so happened when she called me this time, so she hit me up. I'm making a grocery list, getting my veggies and, you know what I mean, my fruits and shit together, my water, you know what I mean, got to have that. Getting that ready. Excuse me, just burped again. Getting that ready, getting my groceries ready. And uh, I get a phone call, the bitch, what you doing? Oh, yeah, put my grocery list together and all that. And uh, before you know it, because I ain't looking at the phone. Before you knew it, I hear a nigga's voice. Say, man. Hey, bro. This you again? Man, I don't know how the fuck you keep popping up. I'm looking, I looked at the phone like, nigga, I'm thinking the same thing. How the fuck you keep popping up on my goddamn phone? Hey, man. I don't know how you keep popping up, but, uh, man, you gonna get this bitch hurt. I hung up the phone. I had nothing to say to that, young man. Because how the fuck am I going to get that bitch hurt? Sir, if you get, first of all, players don't do that. I've already told your ass the way you act. Players don't do that. Players don't do that. And see, this is a young man that didn't have no father figure in his life. This is a young man that's never been around real OGs. This is a young man that think he's pimping. He think he a player. He think he doing something. And yeah, yeah, he, he doing, yeah, he doing something. Ruining this bitch life. 
You're ruining the bitch life, sir. She got your child, sir. If you ruin the bitch life, you ruin your child's life, sir. Get the fuck out those people way. Get out they way. Get out they way. Let me keep it real with you. You need some game. I know you're listening. I know you're listening. I wish I knew your name. I'll tell the world your goddamn name. I know you listening. Think about that beautiful daughter you got, sir. If you ruin her mother's life, you're going to ruin your daughter's life. And being that you a bum ass nothing with bum ass nigga with nothing going on, excuse me, bum ass nigga with nothing going on. That's what you are. You can't replenish. You can't uh reimburse. Do you even know what reimburse means? <laughs> Dog, every time I watch Django, that should be fun. Do you even know what reimburse means? Oh, I would have spit on that cracker. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, sir, you can't even replace any of the shit that you're ruining in this girl's life. You need to leave, sir. You need to disappear. You need to go home. You need to go to your mother's house. Oh, no, no matter of fact, matter of fact, go to your grandmother's house. Make sure it's your grandmother's house. Go to your grandmother's house. Grab the 12 gauge. Put that motherfucker in your mouth and please do us all a favor. You want to be God so bad. Play God and blow your goddamn brains out, please. Don't call my goddamn phone no more, dog. Don't call my phone no more, bro. I'm not going to get on here and make no threats. I'm not going to get on here and do all that. Damn, bro. Chill. Because here's your problem. Here, this is what I know it is. Because last time we had a conversation, we've come to the understanding that we've been dealing with this bitch around the same amount of time. You met her around the same time I met her. Why do we have two totally different uh, results from the bitch? And here's what I mean. See, I was just doing a whole lot of pimping. You know what I mean? The bitch was cool. You know what I'm talking about? Very fun. Great personality. Beautiful bitch. Well, she was a very beautiful bitch when I had her. She's something else now. You know, they put on those pounds and they get around them niggas that don't uh, want to talk health with them. They don't want to keep them in shape. And, you know what I mean? They don't want to uh, upkeep the bitch. They just don't want to uh, uplift the bitch. They just, you know, he want to be the pretty nigga. He want to be the pretty one. You know what I mean? <laughs> These niggas be want to be more pretty than they bitch. They let the bitch get all fat and flabby and crusty. And, and you think the pimping want her? No, bro. Don't nobody want that but you. You dig? Straight up. But yeah, this what happened. You see the way the pimping handled the bitch. And you see the way that you handled the bitch. See, I was just doing a whole lot of pimping. Having my fun with the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yo stupid ass on the other hand, lame ass nigga. Lame ass nigga. You wanna, you wanna, uh, you wanna take the bitch and make a hostage. You know what I'm saying? You ask that bitch how many times I'd uh question her about other niggas. Never. The only time me and this bitch had a problem about other niggas is when that bitch had a car full of niggas come pick her up from my house. That was a problem. That's the only time I ever had a problem with this bitch and niggas. Yeah, baby, listen, I don't mind. Uh, you, you, whatever ride you got to get, you get your ride. Because I ain't <laughs> finna find you that. Uh, yeah, but next time, yeah, have them niggas pick your ass up at Sir K. Yeah, not at this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's the only time I had a problem with the bitch and some niggas. But yeah, yo pussy said, oh man, you want to you wanna save her from niggas. And in our re reality, you can't even save her. Yeah, you just doing a whole bunch of lying, a whole bunch of cap. Then you go and get the bitch pregnant. And I'm saying all this to say, nigga, you knew that bitch was not worth all the shit that you was trying to lay out. At least the shit that you was capping like you was trying to lay out. Man, you, you know you weren't supposed to get her pregnant. Come on, man. <laughs> the 
T used to skeet all over. <laughs> Not in her. All over though. That's right. All those little small places you like to kiss on. Yes. All my children. Yes. <laughs> ah, yeah. You knew you weren't supposed to wife that thing. You know what I'm talking about? If she's so terrible, this will be killing me about niggas. The bitch so terrible. Why the fuck you still chasing them? Cause I I done had some bitches that was terrible. I'm not chasing these bitches. Once a bitch show me now, nah, this bitch here yeah, really, huh? yeah, I'ma still get the pussy. Yeah, we don't throw no, we don't throw them away. Yeah, get the pussy, cause the bitch ain't gonna throw, the bitches don't throw us away. Yeah, so yeah, get the pussy, my nigga, but don't put yourself in a position to be out here going to jail. All that lame ass shit, coming home. Doing wild shit to the bitch Cause you been out cheating Now you come home You swear she been cheating You won't check a pussy out Lame ass shit nigga I be hearing about the lame ass shit You be doing nigga Yeah And the only reason why I'm talking about it To the world Is cause of that bitch Mm-hmm. Look at the position this bitch Done put you in sir Look at yourself While you're listening to me Look at yourself Don't play yourself like that, sir. Come on, sir. Don't do that, sir. You need to go in the house. You need to realize that you're a fucking simp. You a lame-ass, bum-ass nigga that want to control this bitch that feel like she needs you because she a dumb-ass bitch. Hey, man. Leave me out of it, cuz. And look, look, I'm going to say this, too. I don't want her, bro. Been there. I done did everything I wanted to do with her. Yeah, she yours. I swear to God. Yeah, man, y'all do y'all little family thing. You feel me? Quit calling me, bro. Quit having her call me and you snatch the phone out of hand. What type of lame ass shit is that? Why is you in that woman's phone? Where your phone? This nigga ain't called me from his phone yet. Where your phone? Nigga? Man, that shit here crazy. Happy Valentine's Day to y'all, though. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Suck ass, nigga, man. Yeah, man. That, that, that's how my week been going, bro. Straight up, bro. That's, 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 that's kind of how my week been going. Like, dog. I can't believe that shit. I can't believe that shit. But, another day. In the life of T the fucking man. Everybody about family and uh stacking up this paper high as the uh you know always oh, all you know yeah already you know so that's what it's really about but uh all this old shit here if I wasn't rapping I'd still be doing this old shit here you know. Summer breeze makes me feel fine blowing the presidential to ease my mind. Look, I'm up in the morning, rolling papers, thinking about paper. Ain't no need for no faking. Don't try calling if you a faker. Got a bitch on my line, trying to suck the soul out of nigga. But I'm focused on fun. She can't do shit for me, nigga. You can keep your bitch, I promise she a slut. I don't need her. Plus, I heard she love them rappers. She a cold blooded skeezer. I've been up on game by ratchet since my pops had a beeper. So I'd rather kick it solo down and be in some reefer. Cause this game ain't got no love, partner. Oh, no. Niggas will learn you just to fuck you off of drugs, partner. No, my nigga got some dough and switched up. No, that ain't my partner. My homie locked up doing a bit. I think they snitching, partner. But God got him. In these streets know you ain't safe from problems. These laws ain't playing. They'll shoot you if they feel. They got her and beat the case. These niggas fake. You gotta learn to face Man, it. They still racist. Can't be smiling in them bitches' faces. Keep some off safety, nigga. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Blowing the presidential to ease my mind. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Nothing but materialistic, you know. 
Knowledge is power. I'm, I'm about making some money, man. You know, put this shit together. We get some real paper. Coach to coach. Man, I'm trying to move to Hawaii. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to get away from these scrubs. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going out here and, you know, shit, uh, fucking around with them boys at the, at the Roll Rush lot. We ain't playing. You know? Yeah, yeah already. Ooh, I never been this faded before. I drink and smoke all by myself. I'm anti-social, nigga. Ooh, I never had a hoe that fucked me before. Like this little hoe, I think I keep her to myself, my nigga. Ooh, my nigga call me with the drill for the low. I need to go and get that bread and call that bow, my nigga. Ooh, I know you never heard this shit here before. Yeah. 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 Yeah.